anything that happened that your brother did prepare, prepare you for properly? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess like, you know, like some questions uh, like out here. Or, like, either, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, don't know. I guess he doesn't really know all the questions they're gonna ask and like what you know weird ones I get, but you know, he did a pretty good job preparing me, and you know I had fun all the week. What was the toughest I guess, test that you had to figure out there today? Uh, one gate for sure. Yeah, it's a tough one on the legs and, and your whole body really. So, oh um, yeah. Are you familiar with this building at all? Given your other other place here? Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. So like five times to watch him play, and you know it's a great building. It's new. It's it was a nice setup, so. What did you learn from him? What have you learned from him? From he's, your, he's your oldest brother. Yeah, I don't know. He's just a uh, you know, great support of us. Um, you know, he just uh, kind of taught us how to balance school. And, you know, he was such a good role model going through you know, high school and stuff like that. So, you know, well, he could do the balancing out of school and hockey. So, you know, it was just fun to be able to, you know, grow up with two older brothers. What did you think about going towards the end today? Uh, I don't know. When did, you did it was the last did you, one. Did you like it that you were one of the last ones? Would you prefer to go earlier? Uh, probably a little earlier. I think you know the way the guy scores kind of gets you off a little bit, but I don't know. I don't really care that much. Where we go? How many teams got you this week? Uh, 25. Okay. Were the uh, the Devils one? Yes. Okay. Well, so what was that like? I thought they might skip you just because they probably know a lot about you already. But. Uh, I don't know. It was, it was okay. Um, they were just asking a little bit like Mike and stuff and how we uh, how the same, how we're different, but I don't know. It was good. How, how great would that be if, it, if you land on the Devils and you get to join Mikey? Yeah, it'd be cool, you know, playing with your brother. You know, I played with him during junior and, and growing up, so, you know, I already got, kind of got a taste of that, so playing with him in the pro, you know, it'd be a little similar and probably real special. Just talk to your goalie, Jacob Bingham, and just there's all kinds of potential on your team, but it kind of fell short. What, what do you think happened this season where Mr. Hawk ended up falling short? Uh, it's just consistency thing. I think uh, you know every game we kind of don't know what team we're gonna get we're like out of ourselves, and you know we have some really good stretches, some really bad. Um, I just I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just consistency thing for us. Thank you. Thank you. Chocolate Twizzlers, I don't know, really. Not really weird questions, like, oh, it's just more from my brother, and then, yeah, nothing too weird, though. Um, what, what, is, what is it like playing with him? Like, he's, you know, he was a first round pick, and, um, and, you know, I'm sure, like, people compare you guys all the time, like, it's easy to for comparing you, but what is that like? It's good, I think, you know, how and I, he pushed him really hard, you know, he demands a lot of me, so he doesn't really let me have a lot of off games, and, you know, when I am, he, you know, tries his best to, you know, help me out, so. You know, it's good having him there. We have a good chemistry when we're playing together. Um, I think you know it's good he can be honest with me and I can be honest with him. So you know it's it's different than you know other players on the team because you know we really know each other and, and we have a certain respect for each other. So we're not really we don't get negative on each other like saying stuff to each other. So uh, yeah, I think it just helps with a lot having him there. What do you, besides your brother, what NHL player do you model yourself after? Uh, I don't know. Like a guy like Nicholas Backstrom. I think you know we're both passers kind of guys. We we. Uh, you know, like to be playmakers, passers, kind of guys. Um, I think we just see the ice the same way, and we like to make good plays off the half wall. Is that sort of how you differ from Mikey? Like, I think Mikey's maybe more of a shoot first guy, and you're more of a pass first guy. Or? Yeah, I think Mikey's more of a power forward. I'm more of like a, a playmaker, a little bit more skill guy. But uh, you know, he has a lot of positive in his game. I want to learn how to you know use my body more like he does. So there's a lot to get out of his game too. What kind of guy in the locker room are you going to be for that team who ends up drafting you? Um, you know, being a younger guy, I just want to come into the room and learn a lot. Um, I probably won't be, you know, a, a real leader or like a vocal leader on the team. I want to be more of like a, a lead by example, you know, if a young guys, you know, setting the pace and stuff like that. I think the older guys will, or the other guys out there will just, you know, follow and stuff. So, um, that should be a good team. I think I make a lot of friends in hockey, so I'm just happy to work, go wherever. Do you have any good memories of the draft? Yeah, well. It was uh, in this belt or in the key bank over there. Yeah. So um, yeah, it was a great time. Uh, you know, I was real, I was real nervous for him too. And I know he was uh, pretty nervous too. So uh, yeah, it was a fun time. Uh, it was real special when I drafted and you know going up and meeting the team and so like that. It was just a real cool moment. Are you the whole family going to Dallas? So. Yeah. Do you know how many people you're taking with you? Uh, probably around ten. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks. Thanks.